We're officially off-road. I have no idea what's gonna happen. We're trying to head up to that ridge up there. Sorry, it's really loud with the washboard. We're trying to head up to this ridge. And we're gonna get to camp up there tonight. There's a mine on the left. And then continue on tomorrow morning. Um, it's pretty gnarly out here. Uh, there's not gonna be much support. I forgot the satellite phone on the boat. So it's just us, us and our buddy. Four tires each plus a spare. We have an inflation kit. We have a puncture kit. We got enough water for seven days. And that's it. Coming down. No, it's still hot. Okay, we gotta go. Get some airflow going here. It's a problem, like I never... We're not off-roaders. <laughs> We're not back online in seven days. This is a, a beast of a card. <laughs> it's a V8. I, um, it's got like four or five gears and four four wheel drive, low gear, and then it's got four or five, five gears and high. So it's an incredible car. I think I'm um, gonna buy my own someday. You know, it's one of those little boy dreams. Have your own Land Rover. There's no automatic anything. It's all roll up windows, analog dials, switches, lots of squeaks some squeaks. I was saying I love my life, you know? Last week we were doing boat work and messing around with a boat and this week we're gonna go cruise into some of like the most remote parts of South Africa and I don't know, it just seems like a fairy tale or life. I know it's hard at times, you know, when the boat breaks down or when your kids, you're with your little kids in a storm, but for the most part, it's it's a dream. Like, I feel like I'm living in a dream sometimes. I'm so grateful to be able to share it with you guys and make videos about it. Like, who, who would have thought 10 years ago, that five years ago, that this would be my life? It's pretty incredible. Look at that. There's table though. Look at that. Very silly when you're going a lot of dust. Just make sure it's locked. That thing is now out. In other words, that is now locked. Yeah. So it cannot jump off. Yeah. It activates the brakes when it gets detached from the vehicle. Yeah. To stop this thing. <laughs> the backseat driver that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's big, eh? I'm ready. Let's go. Can you believe it? This thing's massive. Oh man, these these. We'll show you the trailer that we're towing right now later, but uh, it's pretty set up. Like hot water, uh, awning, two beds, uh, stove, fridge, everything. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, man. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of excited. I want to go camping. We've rented a few Airbnbs in between uh, when we're camping. Mostly just to clean up, but honestly, I, I don't know why. This thing's totally set up. Yeah. They will cancel the Airbnbs. Maybe. <laughs> Although Ben needs to work, so it might be a little tight yeah, in there. Yeah, I gotta make a video. That's about as fast as we go. Road trips are a curious ritual when you stop to think about it. Hours spent sitting side by side as the outside world races by. Belongings stuffed into the back and between the seats. We embrace the idiosyncrasies of our loved ones and the lingering sense of each other's company. It seems like an unusual tradition, but perhaps that's where the magic lies. Here on the open road, we find solace from the distractions of our daily life. We're drawn together compelled to engage, to converse, to share laughter and create memories. I decide if I like them, I just don't really. A change of scenery, a shift in perspective, breathes new life into our hearts and minds. These are never just a journey of miles. It says Ben. 
vent. So you gotta push this over, and then if you push it down, air comes out these things. And you can see the road, see? Maybe that's what air conditioning was back in the day. Vents. Right now, we're heading north from Cape Town towards the border of Namibia. We have a rough idea of where we're going, but it'll take us a couple days to get there. First stop, some random Airbnb outside of a town called Springbok. Can you check the uh, lights? I don't know how to work this thing. And by the way, the horn is not here. The horn is right there on the signal. <laughs> Uh, lights are on. Put your foot on the brake. Okay. Can you just check my front lights? Because I have no idea what these are. No, that's just driving lights. Yeah. Off. On. Well, this car isn't exactly like 21st century. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five of the six buttons figured out in this car. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to get there in the daylight. <laughs> We've arrived at our Airbnb. It's rather random. It's up a dirt road. There's no lights on. I don't. I only have a clicker. I don't know where the key is. The key will be at the gate. Airbnb in Africa. <laughs> Maybe this isn't it. Let's see. Right around the huh? This is one. Yeah, that's a good sign. This is it. Where do you park now? <laughs> I don't know if this looks like it. You might want to go look around. Okay. And I don't have any internet, I don't think, here. And my phone's not charging, and it's almost dead. <laughs> Seems like a, uh, yeah, no internet. Dead. Oh. Seems like a start of a horror movie. <laughs> it's actually not that cool. So, oh, we don't even have a key to the place? I don't know where the key is. What the fuck? It's the key in the door. Hello? Hello? Huh? I think it was there. Hey! Where's the front yard? I don't know. South Africans are pretty serious about their bries, the bries, the barbecue. There's a bry inside, like a full on, I'll show you in a sec. There's a bry outside. I think a bit of me is turning into a South African. I like the bry situation. We're gonna, it's like 11 o'clock at night and we're gonna have a bry. What do you think, guys? <laughs> vacation you don't have to go to bed on time yeah well he used fire starter a true a true south african would not have used fire starter <laughs> i wasn't gonna mention it it's 11 <laughs> o'clock at night though uh, uh. Oh. oh we're full that's the vent We'll turn this off. We're full of water. We're ready to go. High five. Okay, let's put the cap on now. Can you put it in there? Oh, 
lot different during the day, hey? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a creepy horror movie. On the start of the trip, our air conditioner just failed, so luckily here in Africa, anything is possible. Pulled in, they said 500 grand. I said, okay. They said, okay, pull your car in the garage. So here we go. The last time we went on a big road trip with our old car, we had an air conditioning problem that turned into a big engine problem. And here we think it's just a recharge, so we're gonna give it a go. It's always worth trying to recharge, we think. Think it'll fix it? Yeah. Really? Anything's possible in Africa, people. It's cold! It's coming out cold! <laughs> it's gorgeous here, eating biltong, uploading a patron update behind the scenes. I'm gonna hit publish on that as we turn off. Pretty cool, eh? Life of a YouTuber. Built on. Road trip. What do you think of the real built on? The built on. So, built on is like a jerky. An African kind of beef jerky. Is it beef? It's like pure sausage. Oh, don't waste the sausage. Yeah. No, it's really good out in the boonies where they make your hair. Put it in vinegar for like a day and then they roll it in some spice and then they hang it up to dry it. Now it's built up. And then they slice it really thin. This is the best I've ever had. We were stopped in Springbok and went to the butcher there. Best I've ever had. What do you think, Dad? What do you think, Dad? I just posted the Patreon update. Uh, I think it's great. Can I have some more? Maybe the mining company? You will arrive at your destination. This is it, we've pulled off. I think we're gonna air down and go off road. And then we go up, up to the top of those hills and at the top of one of those hills, the old ground is blocked. Okay, and that's where we stop for the night. And that's, we're gonna stop for the night. It shouldn't take us longer than an hour and maybe an hour oh, okay. and a half to get to It's not that far distance wise, yeah. but we just got it drive. Okay. Well, now we're at my speed. <laughs> <laughs> So this is it guys, we are off, officially off, off-road. It's kind of undulating. We have no idea what's going to happen, we're officially off-road. There's a ridge up ahead, so we're trying to get up to the ridge tonight. We're gonna camp up there. And then continue on tomorrow morning. Coming down. No, it's still hot. All right, we got an issue. Our car is uh, at the hot end of the uh, hot end of the spectrum, and Pete's car uh, spare tire is loose underneath. <laughs> We've been off road for fifteen minutes, twenty. Okay, that's 
better now. Just kick the tire. We good? Yeah. Okay, we gotta go. Get some airflow going here. There's a problem, like I never, we're not off-roaders. <laughs> but um, there's all these little tricks, so Pete just cut a hole in the top of this bottle and squirting water onto the radiator, but you start to smell it too. Wearing low now. Low gear. Uh, it might be coming down. We'll How's see. That temperature there, God? I think it's starting to come down. Yeah, it's starting to come down. Tonight, we're gonna to call this camp. We are in the midst of a massive granite mine, an ex-granite mine. Uh, there's still huge boulders that they, I guess, just didn't make the cut. And uh, it's a pretty cool spot. You know, it makes me realize the destination in itself doesn't need to be a spectacular, beautiful beach. It can be anywhere. And this landscape where we are here, which is Mars-like, is uh, one of those places which is unique and different and brings a different kind of atmosphere with it. So this is where we're camping tonight, an old granite mine. Super cool, man. There's still uh, old paraphernalia around. It's probably an old food tin, you know? They have old cutting bits on the ground. Let's see if I can find one, here we go. <clears throat> so this is one of the blades for uh, cutting these granite blocks. This, this wire rope would go on a big wheel and then that wheel would cut through these blocks to get them out of the hill. You know, it makes me realize as we sit here in this old abandoned uh, granite mine, paradise can be found almost anywhere. An old mine, I mean, there was people working in here, there's a lot of machinery. It's a beautiful, serene, quiet, tranquil place as the sun's setting. It provides a different kind of ambiance than anyone would have imagined back in the heyday of this mine. So this is it for tonight, an old abandoned granite mine. Good night guys from South Africa. Uh, Dads, we need our little 